Yesterday, I travelled back in time and wiped out all the world's important mathematicians. I thought I would help, get rid of maths forever, but when I came back, I realised something. No maths means no medication. Oh. Are you alright? Oh. <coughs> it's coming through! Oh, thank God you're here. Uh. Wake up! Wake up! Don't die! Don't die! What is she doing? Giving her the appropriate treatment. <laughs> Put it with the rest. If I wasn't wiped out, the modern world would be able to treat illness correctly. Maths allows us to prescribe the right amount of medicine to a person. For example, a person weighs 50 kilograms and one tablet contains 150 milligrams of medicine. The absorbing rate of the medicine is 100 milligrams per 25 kilograms of body weight. Then by using ratios, I can work out how much medicine to give this person. The ratio is 100 milligrams of medicine to 25 kilograms of body weight. I now just need to scale this up to 50 kilograms. I do this by multiplying both sides of the ratio by two. This keeps my numbers in the same proportion and I now know that I need to give 200 milligrams of the medicine for it to be fully absorbed into this person's body. Then, because each tablet of this medicine contains 150 milligrams, I would give out one and a third of the tablets. But how do we know which medicine to give someone? Using statistics helps us figure out what type of medicine best cures a disease. By testing two different medicines on two groups of people, and seeing which one results in the greatest recovery, we learn which medicine is best to use. This bar graph visually compares data and shows us the percentage of people cured by each of the different medicines. I'd be using medicine A if my patient had this disease because it has the highest recovery percentage. My work in data collection statistics back in the 1800s paved the way for better hospital practices. In fact, without my work, the population would be roughly 4 billion instead of the 7 billion it is today. If I learnt one thing from this experience, it's how much our world needs maths. Not only is maths and the tools we use every day, but it's us too. Every day our brain is whirring away, subconsciously calculating the equations we need to know just to get around, just to talk, just to breathe. Maths is also in engineering. If I wasn't wiped out, the 21st century would be greatly advantaged by the prospects of engineering. Perhaps you've heard of Archimedes constant? No? Of course you know it as pi. Without pi, there'd be no engineering. Without engineering, there'd be no bridges to get us to the other side of rivers. Engineering would be screwed. Angles, maths, geometry, ratios, pi, you name it. We use it. We need it. Take maths away and there is basically no world. No us. Our world needs maths. Needs maths. Our world needs maths! And it always will.